All right, good evening. Questions for Coach Udoka? You may. You said you'd, um, you said coming into the series that you'd be ready for the zone. Felt like you guys jumped right on it when the heat went to it. You had the sets ready to go. Like, what do you think just led to so much success against that? Was the preparation and video you watched there? Yeah, well, we knew they're a team that runs quite a bit of zone. Um, didn't get to it in the first game. Uh, not surprised, but they up their physicality and didn't need to get to it tonight. They tried it, and we've had some some good sets and success against it later in the season, being that we saw it quite a bit early in the season. So, well, we're ready for that. Ime, how, um, how did you like your team's response tonight, and how good was it to have uh, Marcus and Al back in the lineup with you? Yeah, it was great to have the vets back, obviously, uh, calming presence there. Um, didn't get off to our best start, a little slow to start, but uh, fought right back into it. And after, I guess, the first five or six minutes, we held them down scoring-wise. Um, but overall, it was good, good overall effort. Bounced back. I, I felt we didn't play as poorly as last game showed. You know, was, we went, like I said, we won three quarters and had a very bad uh, third quarter that was hard to overcome, but we saw a lot of positives and areas we could attack. And so uh, it helped to have those two back for sure. Um, Ime, tonight you guys, according to Second Spectrum tracking data, switched on 33 pick and rolls, allowed only 15 points, caused two turnovers. Obviously, Al Horford and Marcus Smart returning makes a significant difference in your ability to switch. I guess what's your reaction to hearing those type of numbers um, going into the game plan that you had with the willingness to switch? Yeah, it's what we've done all year to some extent. One of the better switching teams that we switched a lot and uh, having certain defenders back obviously helped that, aided that tonight. But um, you know, we saw Hero get downhill a little bit too much. Butler as well last game and wanted to have bodies in front of bodies. And what we showed him at halftime was good physicality, uh, good pickup points and good attention to detail on certain guys. Uh, aggressive reds, aggressive switches. And, you know, they pretty much saw a body every time they came off and didn't get a lot of clean shots. So we're happy with what we did tonight. Ime, why do you think your team is so good coming off of losses? I think we were upset with how that third quarter went and specifically how we got out toughed. Um, wasn't a lot of, like I said, a lot of schemes or defensive or offensive changes. They just came out and kind of punked us in that third quarter. And so uh, we looked at the three quarters and how well we had done, you know, winning those quarters and knew if we just matched our physicality, we could be better. And so uh, kind of reminded us of Milwaukee the first game a little bit and didn't want to get caught off guard again, but shouldn't take one of those and, you know, opportunity that we had but I think our guys have bounced back really well all year, um, especially in the second half of the year. Haven't lost a lot of you know, two games in a row in a while. And um, I think obviously adding Marcus and, and Al back gave us a little boost as far as that. But guys have pride and um, looked at a golden opportunity that we kind of lost and thought we could do much better and did that tonight. Game really turned around, Ime, in the first quarter when you went to Grant and that four out lineup kept him in the rest of the first half. What did you see working there and why was it able to be so successful in the course of that, the rest of the game. They spaced the floor well. Um, you know, we had got to attack some um, matchups that we wanted to and, and space out Adebayo and Tucker and some of those guys. And so obviously with Rob in there, he has uh, his, his things that he does well, but he has some limitations as well as far as space in the court. And, you know, we saw success against Milwaukee and Brooklyn doing that with the uh, Al and, and Grant lineups where they can space it out and we can attack multiple ways. And so, you know, Create a lot of open shots, a lot of open threes, and he got going, but also opened up the lanes for our drivers. I feel like it's been a while since we've heard you say that you guys got punked. Because we heard that a lot earlier in the first half of the season. What did you say to the team after? Like, how did you challenge them? You know, Grant was saying before that you you weren't afraid to challenge them. So how did how did that work tonight? Yeah, it was it was evident. I mean, after the game one, that, that third quarter, thirty nine to fourteen. You know, eight of our 16 turnovers, them getting a lot of offensive rebounds, and Butler getting to the free throw line. It was pretty evident that they were the more physical, aggressive team. And um, we said this, look at the three quarters and be optimistic by what we did there. But if a team is just going to come out and out hustle, it wasn't a lot of, like I said, a lot of things schematically that they did different. We could match that intensity. We pride ourselves on being one of the tougher teams. And so we knew if we matched that, we'd be in good shape tonight. So not, not much needed to be said. Everybody saw it. Uh, Marcus Martin almost had a triple double tonight, but even beyond the box score, how can you describe what he gave you guys? Yeah, as always, he sets the tone. Um, you know, defensive player of the year for a reason. Uh, 
ability to switch and switch on to bigger bodies and just another good defender to throw at um, Butler and at a bye on some of those guys and not have to worry about, you know, trying to pick on certain matchups. And so he brings the physicality every night, uh, kind of gets everybody else in line and adding Al back there as well as another versatile guy. So um, wasn't surprising to see how well we guarded with our guys back. Today, after Struis hit that three with Robert kind of too far from him, you immediately called a timeout. It was 18 to 8. What did you say in that timeout that you can obviously without the four letter words, but what did you say and how did that change the game, that sequence? Well, was wake up. You know, we were, we were slow to react for the first few shots, uh, switching too low on their shooters. And that's something we did do a great job of last game. So, um, we understand who they are and who, the, who their scores are and who their shooters are and how we need to switch accordingly and according to their personnel. And so just simple message that we need to wake up and react a little bit quicker. Al gave up one as well. And Jalen was too low on one. So clean that up pretty quickly and finish off the quarter well. Uh, Ime, uh, going back to Marcus and actually kind of going into the box for uh, he had the five threes. He had a couple of key steals there in the third and then all the assists. Uh, when you look at those numbers, what are you most impressed by uh, in terms of him and coming off this injury? I always look at his assists and turnovers. Um, he's had quite a few like tonight, a 12 and one turnover game, kind of dictating everything out there and, and getting us into things. And I'm not like I said, I'm not the type of coach that wants to call a play every time down. I leave it in his hands and he usually makes the right decision, understands who to get going and who's the hot, who's, who's the hot guys are. And he did a great job of that tonight. Now, playing against the closeouts, they're a heavy load team that, you know, flies out on shooters. And he did a great job driving, making the extra pass and getting guys easy shots.